Good morning, everybody. It's Sean Mayo here, and uh, as you guys know, we're talking about Alex has just released uh, a new way to import uh, your own files into the View Data tab, uh, which was a long-awaited feature. So uh, I see there was a lot of questions on that. Uh, so I was just going to go over the process uh, so uh, everybody is clear on how it works. Um, now, the way to get to it, uh, if you can't find it, is you're going to click on your View Data tab and then go down to your saved list. Uh, and at the top of your saved list, uh, you can download your data, you can export your data, and then there's a new one to import data version 2.0. Now, in the past, you could export your TA files uh, and then you could import them again, but uh, you couldn't modify them. So you can still do that. You can still uh, import your unmodified file uh, and then import as is, as you can see here, this is uh, where you might have moved some stuff around um, in editing the, um, the information from the download data uh, button. Uh, but what I'm going to focus on is the import CSV columns. So this is when you import a brand new file uh, that you got from somewhere else. So uh, I give out free lists. I've been doing it for, uh, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe two years now. Um, so now you can upload something like that. If you've ever bought a list of products from anybody any time in the past, you can now bring them in and then just update all the information. I mean, this is uh, going to be a great tool. So any list of products that you already have, instead of having to go through the process of rescanning them, you can now uh, uh, just import them right into uh, your data tab and uh, then simply just update the information. Uh, now, there are two things that are required. You do have to have... Um, now, the two things that are required are the source URL and the ASIN. So if you have both of those pieces of data in any kind of CSV, then you're going to be able to import them. And you don't have to use a template and copy things. You can now just import a CSV and um, just select what you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and import one of um, my free lists. Uh, just as an example, and we're going to click on import, and now it's read the file, and now all we have to do is um, look at the data and match. Uh, this is what um, Tactical Arbitrage is looking for. This is the columns from our source file. So if we go over here, this is the source file I imported. You see there's a, um, you know, a bunch of uh, headers and the information here. So we just want to make sure we get the right thing. So the source product URL is, of course, the source. The Amazon product ASIN is the ASIN. So those, it figured that out and it matched those. So now good to include the source product title is here. The source product image uh, actually doesn't exist in our file. So uh, the link is actually the link to Amazon. So I'm going to change that to not defined because it doesn't exist in our file. Now, let's look at other information. Now, as you can see, um, this just makes it easier for tactical arbitrage to find what we're looking for, um, you know, on the source site, because even though we have an ASIN, it may not uh, match exactly what's at the source. So uh, the more information you can pull out of that file, the better. But again, if you only have the source and the ASIN, it's still going to match it as best as you can. Uh, now, for optional, um, we're going to put in whatever uh, is included here. So we don't have the units. I know that um, we we do not have a UPC code in this list. Uh, so there's no information to put in there. Um, uh, the price does match as the price. Um, the Amazon uh, title, you can put this information in, but um, I would rather just let it populate because we do have the ace in here. Um, but of course, if you want to put that in from uh, your information, you can as well. Um, he's let us fill in almost everything that's that's available. So it automatically pulled in sales rank, um, gross ROI. We can just put ROI in there. Gross profit, we can just select it. And if you pull that pull down, it's pull. these are the column headers that are already in the file. Uh, so 
for profit. Uh, we actually don't have profit uh, in there. Um, I'm going to skip over the Amazon product, source product UPC doesn't exist. Product units is not there. Um, prices of buy cost. And um, now I'm going to hit import. Now, as you can see, uh, it says success, import results, check 21, added 21. It skipped none of them uh, and saved in this folder is now 21. So now these are all the products that we just brought in. Um, and uh, what I would do is immediately click on update all data. It's going to pull the most recent information uh, from the sources. It's going to pull the most recent information from Amazon. And now we have... Um, a current read on all the information that we just imported. Uh, and it will take a few minutes, of course. It brings that information in uh, one at a time. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, definitely uh, check out my, uh, my free list. And, um, you know, there is years worth that you can bring that information in. Uh, anything you've ever bought, um, you know, there's a ton of sources of products out there and the older the better because people forget about them you know people buy a list or get a free list and you know maybe there's some competition maybe the price drops uh, maybe it doesn't but then after people buy it they move on to the next thing and forget about that so all those old lists are you know usually just just gold just waiting for somebody to open them up and look at them again